Hey there, friends. I am the only Sir Cracker. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here in the makeshift grow room. And uh, I kind of got a lot of the lights turned off. Because if I have it on, you can't see me because there's no light on me. And it's just all this backlight. Anyways. <clears throat> um, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff growing here. And uh, I want to take a, a second here. And I want to show you um, something that I have growing. Um, I can't really get to it very easily, you know, but this. Trying to. Um, I have so many plants and they're all literally just shoved in here. I don't think I'm going to be successful. Am I? Am I? Oh. Ah. <laughs> that was really weird. Well, I have six cute little plants. These are First Lady Tomatoes. And they are all spoken for. Yes, they are. Um, so these are going to my friends here on Sir Cracker's Garden. And... Uh, I had this thing a little while ago where I was asking um, who wanted to uh, participate in receiving a uh, tomato from me this year and be able to grow it in your garden and, and let me know what you think and if you like the tomato and all that kind of stuff. Well, here they are. There's six of them. And they're about a month old now. And they, I think, are looking great, to be honest with you. They're... A little tall, but um, that's okay. A little lanky. Um, but that's not that big of a deal because I'm about to transplant these here pretty soon into the larger um, solo cups. So um, that's not a first lady. That is actually, um, I want to say that this is a, I should mark them. I'll, I'll mark them. This is a champion, I believe. So, but those are first lady tomatoes. And I wanted to uh, to let you know too. I mean, I've got over here, I've got this entire tray growing, and they are the. Let me put this down. They are the uh, um, number one, two, three, and four that I was growing, which is the Russian San Marcos something. Um, a champion, but I can't remember the fourth one. And uh, so they're, they're over there. Excuse me, they're growing. There's three of three of each, except for the one I can't remember um, because they just didn't come through. So they're doing great. They're they want to go outside. Um, uh, they they really want to go outside. I have done a few. Things with them, and I can go into better detail later. As you can see, this one, the, the grow tip was would have been up to about here. I pinched that off about a week ago, and now I'm getting little side shoots coming off. Um, because while they're young like this, I want them to be as bushy as possible. I'm gonna put them out in the garden, um, and uh, and so that's what I'm doing. Also, when I go to put them out in the garden, I'm going to bury. A large portion of the stem um, and put them really deep down into the pots um, but for the tomatoes because I need some fertilizer uh, this year um, I've gone 100% organic fertilizer um, and I'm a huge I'm, I'm an organic gardener I like to uh, garden organically and so um, I went and picked up uh, this um, it's called uh, Eps oh, Espoma. I'm totally butchering that. Espor Espoma. Uh, it's organic um, tomato tone. Um, tomato and vegetable food for or organic gardening. Plump, juicy tomatoes, all natural, long lasting, enriched with calcium for all tomatoes and vegetables. So it's a, you can hear it, it's a granulated 
and it's four pound bag um, and um, it's uh, three four six so it's low in numbers it's slow releasing so when I go to plant these outside I'll put maybe like um, two two or three tablespoons um, in like the the top um, four to six inches and mix it in real good and then plant the tomato in that it'll slowly release um, into uh, the soil which will allow the tomatoes to go crazy so that is kind of the game plan at this point in time um, I probably I'm, I want to say it's closer to Mother's Day um, uh, May I don't remember what the name the date is but and then probably another month or so when the, the weather outside is not going to drop below 30 degrees. Um, and I know, you know, I know it's not going to freeze 32 degrees. Um, then I will plant my tomatoes outside. Pretty soon, actually, this weekend, I am going to um, plant uh, cucumbers. I am planting uh, my okra. I want to get my okra in the ground and get that started. Um... Well, in the pots, tubs, and um, also peppers and that sort of thing too. So that's kind of what's going on here. Um, my tomatoes, um, some of them, I've noticed that the leaves on them are starting to turn kind of a yellowy color. Um, that, I believe, is a couple of different things, but the biggest uh, issue is uh, magnesium um, so <clears throat> the new growth is all green uh, and looking good it's just the, the very bottom leaves are turning yellow and um, some of them are even starting to die off um, but these ones you know I mean I think this is about two and a half months worth of growth um, I have to look at the dates um, again but I think it's like two or two and a half months worth of growth so, I mean, they're getting plenty of light and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just think it's a, probably a magnesium problem. Uh, they've had, you know, their, uh, the water. Um, the thing when they, they get to about this size is you want to stop watering them uh, and let them dry out and then water them and let them dry out and let them... Yeah. <clears throat> when they're seedlings, they're little, then, then you want them to, um, to have water and you want them to be warm. You want the roots... Um, and the soil to be warm. I have heating pads uh, so they'll stay warm. So I'm probably boring the heck out of everybody. <laughs> Usually just go blah, 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 and talk forever. Um, quick little update here. I've got these two white trays right here in front. And these have my onions in them. And uh, all the onions look like they're coming up. There's um, six of them that I put. I put. 12 in each, and then I put another six in. Um, it's like two weeks difference. So they're not coming up just yet, but they will. They'll come up. Uh, I'm not too worried about <clears throat> too worried about it. I've got so many onions. I mean, they're coming out of my ears. I've got onions uh, out in the backyard. I've got onions over with my first lady that I, um, my three-year-old first lady. She just goes and goes and goes. Um, I've got garlic, I've got everything you can imagine. And what, for me, it's kind of difficult right now doing this because I've got a lot of my house plants and stuff in here as well. Um, and then of course I've got, you know, my, uh, um, pepper here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's already got a pepper on it, which I was picking the flowers and picking them in this. Kind of left one. Whoops. <laughs> um, but it's it's you know it overwintered last winter, so it's the one that uh, that I uh, um, put in her garden and didn't get a whole lot of light, but it seemed to work its way through the winter or through the summer. So I'm probably boring you. I'm boring me. All right. Um, questions, comments, concerns, um, anything, whatever. Leave it in the comics. Comment, com, that, but, com, mm. okay. comment section below. <laughs> I was going to get it. I don't care. Uh, comment, comment, oh, dang it. Comment section below. 
And uh, of course, subscribe. <clears throat> Feel free to share my videos. And um, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm kind of doing more of a, oh, this is how this is growing. Uh, and it's April 14th. So not too shabby for April 14th. You know, a lot of my plants I've, I've got, <clears throat> um, uh, these these are all mine that are going out in the garden, but I've got some pepper plants, um, some uh, bell peppers, green bell peppers, bigger ones, and I've got some um, uh, banana peppers that are coming from someone I met in St. Mary's. Her name is Lulu. Um, she has a Facebook page, uh, Lulu's Garden, so I highly recommend, you know, thumbs up, go check her out. <coughs> and, um, yeah, so a lot going on. Oh, look. Side note, I've got a new avocado. Yeah, there's two of them over here. Sweet. So, all right, I gotta go. Otherwise, I'm gonna be like talking forever, and I'm already coming close to 12 minutes at this point in time. So, <laughs> nobody wants to hear me talk for 12 minutes. You're probably not even listening anymore. So, I'll see you later. Bye for now, and of course, keep watching.